How's it going today, guys? We are coming at you with a delicious recipe. It's kind of like a take on a breakfast sandwich. It's a fathead sausage biscuit, okay? So breakfast sandwiches, my single favorite food on earth. McGriddles, I'm looking at you. Any kind of upscale breakfast sandwich, I'm also looking at you. I love all kinds of breakfast sandwiches. Really, you can't go wrong unless you're buying them from a gas station, and then sometimes even those are really good. We're gonna be using a fathead dough for this. I'm not like the biggest fan of fathead dough, really, because you can literally make any recipe under the sun out of it, so in my opinion, it's kind of cheating but I think we haven't used it in a while, so maybe a lot of new people to our channel are not even familiar with it yet. They don't know it exists, so we're gonna make these sausage biscuits using a fathead dough. So the ingredients you need to make a fathead dough, pretty basic. A cup and a half of mozzarella cheese, and then we also have one ounce of cream cheese in there. Three quarters of a cup of almond flour, finely ground, and one egg. We're gonna microwave this for about 30 seconds. Okay, so this is looking good. You wanna be careful not to overdo it too much, but it does need to mix together. Make sure the cream cheese and the mozzarella cheese are evenly combined. That is looking perfect. So you will be needing to microwave this again as it cools pretty quickly and you want to work with it while it's hot. So we're going to be adding the almond flour right on top and that acts as a little bit of a shield between the really hot cheese and the egg. So now I'm going to add the egg too. If you add the egg directly to the hot cheese, there's a chance that it cooks. Don't cook the egg. Okay, now just mix this all together here. And you're gonna have to microwave this a few times probably. So now once you get the egg and the almond flour in there, we are gonna switch to a spatula, spatula mode. The reason the spatula works now is because you gotta like do a mashing motion. I'm actually just gonna lay out a little bit of parchment paper and finish combining the dough on there. Get in there with your hands, combine it. What we have over here is some breakfast sausage, okay? This is just a log of breakfast sausage I cooked, but what you may wanna do is get the pre-cooked breakfast sausage. There's a few good brands. Uh, Jimmy Dean is the brand I usually go for. There's a couple flavors that are under one gram of carb. I always get the sage version. That's like pretty tasty and it's zero carb. Let's just wrap these up with the fathead dough. So we're gonna do six here. So we're gonna portion this off. Just grab a little, little chunk, form it into a ball. And then I'm just gonna do this by hand. You can put parchment paper on top and roll it out, but we have a baking sheet here that we're gonna bake it on. I'm gonna press, just press it out, pop the sausage in the middle, and then wrap it up. It's actually pretty easy. The temperature of the dough is the one variable. If it's not rolling like this, this easily for you, you just gotta microwave it again. Then I like to put the seam side down so it bakes up nicely, boom. And then as far as other things you can put in here, you can obviously put a bunch of seasonings on the sausage, that would be really good. These are already pre-seasoned though. You can do like some tomato, some onion, of course. You could do cheese, but the dough is already cheese, so I mean, there's never enough cheese. I, I wouldn't do cheese. I think like some maple extract could be delicious if we're going back to, you know, McGriddle territory. Jalapenos are good, you know, just get crazy with it. You don't even have to do this for the filling, the sausage, you can do any kind of filling. You can do like a pizza, calzone. And if you're really having trouble with it sticking to your fingers, you can dip them in some water or some oil to make it easier so the dough doesn't stick to your hand. Another sausage. And wrap. Okay guys, I finished rolling these out and wrapping them. You can see here we have six, I think. Um, if you want to do more sausage, you could probably wrap like eight of these. I used a little bit extra dough on the last few. So these are going to go into the oven at 400 degrees for 10 to 15 minutes. Keep an eye on them. So we are going to check back in on these when they're done baking. We're back. These have been in the oven for exactly 13 minutes. And you can see perfectly brown on the bottom. They just look beautiful. So all that's really left to do is to give these a try. I'm gonna pick out the most beautiful one. I like you. And let's cut into this real quick so you can kind of see what the middle looks like. And remember the sausage inside was fully cooked before baking it with the uh, fathead dough around it. Oh baby. Look at that. So cute too. Beautiful guys. You can see here the dough is pretty thick. If you wanted to use a rolling pin and roll out the dough, 
you can probably double the amount of these that you make, double the amount of sausage with the single dough recipe, just using a thinner dough overall. But here we go, guys. Let's give this a taste. You know what it is? Have you guys ever had the microwave Jimmy Dean breakfast sandwiches? Taste identical and it's probably because we use Jimmy Dean breakfast sausage. These are a home run and you can just pop these in the fridge, Ziploc bag, microwave them the next day. They'll come back to life, they'll be delicious. You could take a bunch of these to work for lunch and just microwave them. Really a versatile recipe, stuff anything you want in here. Recipe is linked below. All the instructions, the ingredients, step by step. Comment below with a recipe you guys want us to make in the next video. Thanks for watching.